Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for checking out Exhaust State Comics. Today, we're going to be doing a review of Cable issue 150. This is the Legacy. So we're talking about Marvel Legacy, like relaunch numbering of Cable. Super pumped about this story. Enjoyed the last five issues. Uh, this issue is written by Ed Breeson and is the art with John Malin. Or Malin. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Either way, it's a great looking book. I really enjoyed uh, kind of digging into this one and just seeing what it had for us. Basically, this book is, it's time to get the team together. So we're going to be calling this Team Cable Assemble. <laughs> As the first issue. The actual chapter is The Newer Mutants, Chapter 1. Super pumped about this, like I said. We'll see how this goes. See what we dig into here. Uh, be sure to check us out on Thursday nights over at JLS Comics for Thursday's Comic Conversation. That starts at 8.30 Eastern Time. Always a lot of fun. This week we're going to be reviewing Batman the Drowned as part of the show. So you definitely want to check that out if you can. If you're thinking about checking that book out, you may want to hear our opinions on it first before you sink your money into it. It's always a good option if it's available to you. So definitely check that out. This Sunday, everybody, check out Strictly Comics. we got a live auction at Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. Check out our friends at Comic Frontline and check out comicbook.com. Always good stuff. All right, let's dig into Cable issue 150. Um, Cable. Cable and Longshot. Taking a trip to a morgue. Need to look at a dead body to figure out what's going on. Uh, we found out that it is um, Sandra, I believe, this Eternal, and her heart has been ripped out. So Longshot uses his powers to look into her and maybe see what she saw at the end, but isn't able to see who actually killed her, right? She's an Eternal. There's another Eternal. We need to go check on her, but first we got to find a team. So let's go get Dupe, who I don't know if Cable can actually understand him or Cable just knows that Dupe can understand him. So then, boom, we jump over, and we got Shatterstar, who's been hanging out at the Hellfire Club, because this is where Selena has been holed up for a while, right? But boom Selena knew Cable and the group were coming. She was expecting him to show up. So she gets the upper hand. There's a good fight back and forth, but for the most part, she gets the upper hand and reveals that there are still Eternals alive, that she is not the only one. Really cool seeing what's going on here. Um, then we also jump into a back, backup story here of Cable's origin, which was really cool. Retelling of Sinister creating her, or creating him uh, through Scott Summers and Madeline Pryor. How he was sent to the future, but still had the consciousness of his parents to guide him and turn him into Cable. The man who will protect the future, the present, and the past. Really cool book. Really enjoyed it. So... Let me know what you guys thought of this book. It is just like, you know, let's get the team together type thing. As you can see here, we got cover A and cover B. Um, cover B is the lenticular cover done by Rob Liefeld. Very, very cool. A homage to the New Mutants' first appearance of Cable. And, of course, cover A here with characters that we haven't yet seen in the series today. But, of course, there, were, there we got Blink, who I'm super pumped about. And it also looks like we're going to have X-23. And I don't remember who this other character is. I've seen, I've read about her in other X-Books, but her name is uh, blanking on me right now. Uh, again, though, I enjoyed this book. It's, it, it was cool to reveal that there are more Eternals still are around. I'm not sure if they're, if, if they're actual Eternals, if she's just made them at the Hellfire Club or what she's done. Um, but that's interesting to see. I wonder if that means the Eternal that died at the beginning of this story will eventually be resurrected somehow. Uh, but I'm definitely in for this book. Like I said, Ed Bryson's been writing this. It's done, a, it's done a good job. The backup story, too, that, that was fun because the art was done by Mark Bagley. So I really enjoyed that. Um, who did the backup story? Um... Robbie Thompson was the writer of the backup story. It's just a three-page, uh, maybe a five-page little spread, but it was a nice little bonus. Um, and, yeah, I'm in for Cable right now. 
This is <laughs> probably one of my favorite Xbooks, without a doubt. Each and every time it comes out, uh, it's just been a little bit, you know, something fun to read, you know. And now that he's putting a team together, I'm really interested to see where this is going to go, how this team is going to interact. Especially, I mean, we got Blink on the team coming, so I'm I'm on. I'm in on that. <laughs> All right, so what would my rating? We'll do, what did I do last time? Like, out of five? I think I did it out of five. We'll go with, uh, I mean, this was a good book. The art was good. The story was good. It flowed well. There wasn't, there there weren't really any, like, dead spots or anything like that where you just were like, all right, keep going. Where's the next, you know, part of the story going to kick in? Um, like I said, it just, it just kind of ran and, and flowed very well. So I will give it, man, that's a tough one. It was, it was so much, it was better than average. You know what I'm saying? So, like, giving it a three out of five wouldn't do it justice, um, I don't know, it's a 150, and let's just give it a 4. I'm going to wrestle with it. I'm going to wrestle with it. But we had some reveals. We had good art. We had good writing. So, all right. We'll give it a solid 4 out of 5. That's what we're going to stick with. Uh, Hope you were able to pick up everything you wanted this week. And if you didn't, I hope you're able to go to the store or find it online as quick as possible. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of Cable Issue 150. And we'll be back soon with another haul video. Plus... We have the review of Thor 700 coming up, so check that out. All right, everybody, have a good one.